Hi, I'm Larry Berman. Welcome to my weekly market update. Well, U.S. earnings season kicked off in a bit better than expected way, but really we're still looking at a market price for the end of this year at 26 times earnings, which is absolutely unheard of. We saw a couple disappointments this week. Netflix stood out. Perhaps Disney's Hamilton pulled some uh, viewership away from uh, from Netflix, but their forward guidance was a bit weaker than expected. And where we've seen weak guidance, those stocks have have actually been been hit quite hard. U.S. elections still a big part of what we're looking at going forward. Uh, polls continue to slide for Donald Trump. Um, actually, one poll we we heard of this week. Uh, had Biden ahead as it relates to the economy and handling of the economy. And of course, Donald Trump has been a standout uh, over over Biden in that uh, um, regard. And, and there's a lot of, you know, a lot going on in the White House, a lot of infighting, probably more than ever, ever between uh, Mnuchin, Kudlow, Navarro and, and, and Fauci. And, um, you know, it just seems like it's a big mess. Now, what I heard this week, I no, don't have any sources on this, but one thing I heard this week is Trump might be willing to throw uh, Pence under the bus and pull in Nikki Haley as a VP running mate. Would be unheard of, but nevertheless, Trump will do anything here to win the election. Big week in terms of market uh, reversals. We saw the NASDAQ early in the week trade up 2% and close down 2%. That's only happened a tiny handful of times in history of the markets. The last major time it happened was in March of 2000 at the peak of the tech bubble. The last time the NASDAQ closed down on a week and the S&P 500 up on the week was also in March of 2000. The bear pick of the week is PSQ and that's a short position on the NASDAQ 100. We're gonna do that with a long ratio put spread by buying a 250 put on the QQQs and selling two 210 puts. The trade's gonna cost you 1% of your capital. You're gonna earn two and a half on the selling the put on, on Amazon. So it's a profitable trade while you wait to buy a pullback. The maximum profit on the trade is a decline uh, in the NASDAQ overall of about 20%. If Amazon falls, an equivalent 20%, we're long Amazon on a great pullback. In terms of picks of the week on the bull side, normally I give you an ETF pick of the week, but I'm going to drill down right to the meat, Amazon. It's a company that is a big part of a lot of technology and consumer cyclicals. It's been off the charts bullish in terms of it's more than doubling from the March lows. We are due for, for a pullback as part of the Fang M's correcting. So this is a pair trade. We're going to be long Amazon by writing a put at 2500 for an October strike. Earnings for Amazon are out on July 30th. That's it for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click the button below and check the alerts to make sure you're aware of when we're putting out new content. Have a good week, everyone.